guys. So it's time for me to make a video of me making jelly sweets. Now get ready for it to go horribly wrong because I'm just a nightmare with stuff like this, but I am going to give it my best shot, okay? So you might not see my face the whole time, but you hopefully will hear my voice. So let's go. So I am going to make um, pineapple flavoured jelly sweets. So you need pineapple water flavouring, you need mixed mousse, you need 200 millilitres of cold water and you need 200 millilitres of hot kettle water okay and you also need a blender i'm going to use my um one-to-one -one blender which is here it sits on my side it's quite handy and also some sort of mold um i've got these cute ones that i've had for a while now to make all cute little shapes so i'm going to use that so let's get going so first of all you put the cold water in so that's that cold water in then you put how much flavoring now this is the bit that i am never sure for me so i am going to put one two i'm just going to use two teaspoons so that's two proper measured teaspoons of pineapple water flavoring then I'm going to add, now do I remember whether you had the mixed mousse first or the hot water? Okay, I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm going to add the, oh, I don't know. Oh, God, see, I'm just a nightmare. Right, so anyway, I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add the mixed mousse next. So I'm going to do four scoops of mixed mousse. One, two, three. Oh, great, my mixed mousse is running out. Three, and... So that's four scoops and they are 10 ml, which is like a dessert spoon. And then I'm gonna put my hot water. And then do it up. Give it a bit of a shake first. Right, and pre oh, and flick it all over me on my nice top. Right, get ready for the noise. So. going to do it for too long because you end up with the froth and I don't actually want the froth so here we go so that's done and as you can see it is it looks quite frothy and the problem also is I'm rubbish with my hands opening things so there we go I've done it so here we go so that's open and then I'm gonna before I put it anywhere I'm gonna spoon some of the froth off and hope for the best. So, let's try and get, oh, it smells delicious. Right, so we're just gonna get some of that creamy froth off the top. Some people like the froth, but I don't think I'm a lover of the froth. So, let's get a bit more off and see if I can. Right, and now I'm just gonna pour it back in here so that if I wanna pour it out without the froth, then that might work. I'm not too sure. Okay, great. So you can actually see, now I've poured it like that, you can see the thin layer of froth. So I might just try and get a little bit more of that out. So then we're going to have less froth. I'm quite excited now to have these tonight. I've had them when my clients have made them for me, but I've not actually, well, I think I've made them once for myself, but there was too much froth going on. So I haven't made them. So I only use mixer mousse to make mousses um, or to make my shakes a bit thicker or to make like the iced um, frappuccino. Um, so it can use all those things. And the thing that's really important as well is mixed mousse is called collagen and collagen is so important for skin, hair, um, so many health benefits. So think about that as well when you're having it. So I am now gonna pour it into my mold. So this is where you can just watch me. What I might do is try and stop the froth, but you know, just watch me make a mess. Let's try and use a different spoon to stop the froth. This might not work, so just you can laugh at me later. Let's try like that. Uh, no, she's not stopping the froth. But anyway, I'm pouring it on. I'll show you them later when they're done. I never know how to do it so it doesn't just go everywhere, to be fair. I suppose you could just do it more slowly like that. 
Okay, I'm going to give up, try and get rid of the froth because that's not really working. And I am just going to spread some of that across over like that. Like that, because they're a bit full up. They don't really need to be that full up. What's going to be the funniest thing, which I won't let you watch, is me putting these into the fridge. If I don't just drop them everywhere. Okay, so I might have more here than I've got mould space for. But never mind, I can just pour it into a little glass and make the jelly. And then maybe uh, add a mixer mousse to it and make yourself like a little trifle. So actually, when this is finished being full up in a minute, I think there should be enough for me to do that as well. Okay, so, the final ones. So, almost there. You see what I'm going to be eating tonight, can't you, after my dinner? Right, so I'm going to do that. I know I've still left me some. So what I'm going to do is get my little glass bowl, my cute little glass bowl. It used to be my nanny's here. And I'm literally just going to pour the rest in there. And then later on, you can see that's still left that much. You could make, I could make a mixer mousse and put it on top of that. So once you're gone, I will probably try and get a bit more froth off of there. And then, then use this as a um, dessert later. Okay, so there you have it. That's ready, that's gonna go in the fridge. This is ready, it's gonna go in the fridge. I don't think you even wanna see it, um, but they are in the mold, so that's, that's the main key really. And um, I will show you my finished result later, which I'm sure won't be half as good as some of you guys when you make it, but at least that's giving you an idea of what to do. So actually it's setting already and I might be able to get some more of that froth off. So, taste yummy anyway. So that's how to make jelly sweets. You need mixer mousse and you need whatever water flavoring you'd like to use, a little blender, 200 mils of hot water, 200 mils of cold water, and um, a mold, some sort of mold to put it in. Have a good day.